Now, along those lines, I want to get into something very, very important here for salespeople. That's something I call wrapping your package. In other words, always dressing for success versus dressing for failure. How good you look determines how good you feel inside. You want to look sharp, but not too frilly or ostentatious. In other words, there's a suit that I wear, right? Blue neutral suit, conservative, versus sort of a Sharpie suit where I have this, you know, spread collar and I have, you know, thick gray pinstripes. It looks like a mobster suit almost. If you saw me wearing that suit, you'd say, whoa, 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 what's wrong with this guy? I don't trust the guy. So I'm not talking about just wearing any suit, but an appropriate conservative business suit that someone it would expect someone like me to wear. Now for men, that's a dark suit with a solid colored shirt and a matching tie, all of which together exemplifies what people perceive as an authority figure. For women in, 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 the, in the workplace, you know, th this notion that sex sells is just not true in the workplace. Women shouldn't be wearing mini skirts and spike heels and, you know, that stuff they would wear it out at nighttime going to a club. A woman should wear, you know, a sh skirt below the knee or just, just above or below the knee, typically below the knee. Neutral colors, you know, you know, red's a power suit, so it's, you know, dark colors, black, blue, okay, it's, you know, very power suits for women. And again, dark suits for men, ties is really your preferred dress clothes in the dress code in the business world. But again, if you're a plumber, of course, you want to be in uniform. So you have to have some common sense here. Now, let's talk about colors just for a second. I don't want to get into this ad nauseum, but you just got to be smart. There are certain colors that are for business, and they're basically black and blue. You're not going to be wearing a bone white suit or a fire engine red suit out. And again, if you do that, it's not like you can never close a sale, but you're going to be playing some serious, serious catch-up ball with the people you're trying to influence if they look at you and say, what the hell is this guy wearing? More than anything, the general rule of thumb is this. You don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. You want to dress as expected. You want to dress comfortably. You want to feel that it's still you can groom with who you are, but you do not want to go into a business meeting dressed like you were a pit boss in a casino. Understand the difference? There are just certain do's and don'ts. They're very logical. They're very basic. But just don't shoot yourself in the foot by dressing inappropriately for a business meeting.